Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Nina and I do cleaning motivational videos and home product reviews. I'm a stay at home mom of three. So if you're new, subscribe down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into the video. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on KitchenAid cookware. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is the box it came in. I wanna do a full review, an unboxing. I have not used this yet. Everything is still in here. I did take a look at it, but I have not used it yet. And I'm so excited to use this because I will show you the pots that I've been using for the past three years. And this is gonna be a big upgrade for me and my family and the taste and flavor of taste of our food. So, um, okay. I'm gonna try to make this as detailed as possible. I'm gonna go over an information now. I have not used this yet. I'm unexperienced with the KitchenAid cookware. I've had, I've read some good reviews on it though, so I am excited. Kitchen cookware designed for better temperature control. So this is a very key component in having really good cookware. And excuse my background, the children are in the other room with their father, so you will hear um, a little bit of noise, I'm sorry about that. So the best part about this cookware is that it is temperature control and it's designed to have an even cook throughout your food and also help retain its flavor and it's healthier to your food. It doesn't leak chemicals into your food and that's what we don't want. We don't want chemicals in our food. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. I'm gonna try to show without showing my address. Okay, so this is the box. So it starts off with saying quick start guide and it says with a few helpful tips and tricks you'll be on your way to some beautiful meals. All right. So number one, it wants you to match the bottom of the pan to the burner size and center it, okay? Then over here it says to warm your pans to medium to low heat, okay? All right, and then the cooking instruction. Number two, it says do not use cooking sprays. Use a small amount of butter or oil. And right across it says, to avoid scratches, don't use sharp edge metals or utensils. It says here, to avoid damage, don't leave empty pan on hot burner. And then here, this is very important. It says, don't leave pan unattended or allow food to burn or dry. We all know that, that's very important. Um, number three, serving. It says use pot holders when handling hot cookware. It's important. Number, number four is important for the cleaning. It says thoroughly wash pots and pans in warm soapy water after each use. Um, never. It says to never use oven cleaner. So that's important. Okay, it says induction cooking. Then it says all cooking types on all kind of stoves and then dishwasher safe. So you right there before you even get to your cookware, you have important information here. And then this is some things here. Join our community of passionate cooks and then you can go to their website and join them. All right, let's get to the fun part. Take that out. Finally get to throw that away. Pull this in here like that squeaky table then we have uh, some lids we're gonna go over the lids the pots we're gonna go over everything okay so this is just what it looks like inside Okay, so I wanna show you guys what my old pots look like and the upgrade that we're getting with this KitchenAid. I have them under here under the table. Let me pull them. This is what I would cook right. with every single day. Um, these are about three years old or maybe two, maybe about two years old. All right, let's start with this one. These are all, what are they called? Tefal, 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 Tefal. I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing it, Tefal. I never really, even looked at um, what the name is on these. I just bought it. Actually, it was a set, and I threw a couple of them away already because they were pretty bad. So this is the pot I would cook with every day. You see that? Mm, isn't that yummy? All of that yumminess getting into your food. Yeah, so not good. And then, you see, I don't know if you can see, but it's not perfectly shaped anymore. 
and the lid does not fit. It does not fit at all because this state has a perfect circle and this is no longer a perfect circle. Um, and I don't really know how that happened, but you see that? this area, you see that? It's no longer. So that was always a problem because it would fall in like that and then the lid would get in all the food and it just, it wasn't a good time. So that's an upgrade from that one. And here's the other pan I would make my eggs and my bacon. And this pan I felt like it was pretty easy to make vegan eggs in um, and bacon and stuff like that because it, it's like nonstick. So it was easy to really cook in it. But you see how healthy that is? So, and then this is the back. So I learned a lot with the KitchenAid, just doing the research from the KitchenAid. Um, I don't think this type of bottom is good for my, I think I, my stove is called the flat top stove. Um, I don't think this kind of bottom is good for a flat top stove, it's kind of scratchy. And then this is the other pot. This was the pot. Now this pot I cook my dinners in every single day. Um, and this is her, this is she, isn't she beautiful? Now I'm very grateful for these pots because they cooked us food. No, I mean, they didn't cook us food, but I was able to use it to cook my food every single day. So I am very grateful, but it's like, you don't know how good it can be until you get something else better, I guess, like the upgrade. Now that I see this one, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> wow I cooked my food in this every day but um this is what it looks like on the inside all of that goodness you see all those little scratches going into our food and this is also a uh, tea fall what is this called you know what these are called tea falls and this is also a tea tough tea fall I don't know how to I don't know how to pronounce it but so these are the three pots that I cooked in every single day for the past two or three years. This is it. This is all I had. But we've been upgraded. So now let's move on to the KitchenAid cookware. You guys already seen the unboxing? Okay. All right. So there's the information on the back. So we're going to start with this, this one. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, guys. Now these KitchenAid cookwares are stainless steel. All right, I'm gonna just read it because I can't remember everything. All right, this is a heavy bottom triple layer. Features, now some have five, these are triple layer. These have three layers. Two of the layers being heavy bottoms, triple layer bases features two layers of durable stainless with an extra thick layer of heat conducting aluminum to evenly distribute the heat from edge to edge. Now, isn't that amazing? Like, I didn't have that in the other pots. All of the pots have this triple layer. Two layers being ador adorable, adorable. <laughs> Two layers being durable, stainless, and then one layer being thick layer of heat conducting aluminum. Like, come on, that's awesome. So, All this right, so frying pan is 9.5 inches. Okay, moving on. I'm going to set it down here. There we go. Okay, this next pan is called your grill pan. This is the grill pan. And this is 10.25 inches. And of course it says induction cooking, all cooking types and dishwasher safe. However, there was something that I found. This is non-stick and this is not broiler safe. So you can put this in the oven, but you cannot use it for the broiler because it's not broiler safe. Nice though, right? It's gonna be good for some vegetables. All right, and the next one we have, we're gonna do the pans first. Let's do all the pans first. Any more down there? Okay, so up next is the eight inch frying pan. They're all so beautiful. Like each and every one of them are just beautiful. Look at the handles, like how nice. So nice, right? Okay. 
Okay, and now we have our 1.5 saucepan. And these are very beautiful and very awesome because there's measurements on the inside. Do you see those measurements? Like, that is awesome. So you don't need to use measuring cups that much with them. You may for certain things, because I mean, they don't have the full measurements, but this that is very helpful. And then there's tools on the side for pouring easy pours, like for gravings and all that kind of fun stuff and soups and stuff, if you just want to make a little personal soup for yourself. And I just say this is 1.5 quart, right? I think I said inch. It's 1.5 quarts. Um, and of course, induction cooking, they're all induction cook and save, um, all cooking types, um, on all kinds of stoves, and they're all dishwasher safe, which is very helpful if you're busy and you don't have time to hand wash every single thing. Just look how beautiful. So cute. I should probably set them up here, right? We'll, we'll set them up after we're done. We're each, we'll let each one have its own show. Here's another saucepan. And this saucepan is three quarts. So this is your three quarts, quart saucepan. Both sides, easy pour, bigger soup for a bigger family, gravies or whatever, whatever. Uh, boil noodles and stuff, easy to drain. Um, inside is also special, also pretty cool. There is, I'm sorry, the light is reflecting. There is your measurements. Isn't that awesome? Like, that's so cool. That's the bottom. This is what it looks like. Just amazing, right? So cute. And then we're going to put the lids and talk about the lids too once we're done sh looking at the rest of them. That's the last one. And this is, okay, and this is the stock pot. Let me see. What is the size of this? Six quart stock pot. So let's open it up. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Look at that. Like, so beautiful. Oops, making a lot of noise. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure how this is, the sound's gonna come up on the video. But here we go. Once again, you have your beautiful measurements. Like, look at that. Like, you can really, it makes it easy for your soups and whatever you want to make in here, um, chilies, whatever, I don't know. When people make so many different delicious dishes. And I'm going to start too. The handles are, oh my goodness, they're so, I love the way they're flat because it just set, sits in your hand like perfectly, like <laughs> perfectly. You see that? They're like flat bottom. Like that just sits right in your hands so perfectly I want to give you guys a really good visual of everything I don't want it to be like come out like not good enough I want it to be good enough for you guys okay and so this is your sauce pot all right so now let's get into the lids we're gonna do this one first since we have it up here did I say the size of the six quarts right and the lids are made to be oven safe as well like so beautiful i'm so excited <laughs> um i mean like come on this is a big upgrade for me like god is good this is a big upgrade this is what i would cook my soups in this bad boy right here um i have another pot actually i think it's called a stock pot it is called a stock pot i have another one i do cook my soups in sometimes but when i make want to make a small one i use this um, it's not really healthy at all but this is my new my new best friend I'm gonna sit that over here all right so let's do these two all of the lids are dishwash safe you have your metal handle that makes it oven safe and dishwash safe now if you use the lids on your pots and you put them in the oven you have to set it for 350 Without the lid is about, you can set the oven for um, 500 Fahrenheit with the lid, 350 Fahrenheit. All right, so let's talk about the lids. 
Inside the lids, we have these little holes for easy draining. So you don't need to use a colander. You don't need multiple things when you're cooking. You have your measurements, like we've seen inside, inside, and then we have our lid, and then we have our lid with the holes in it that are easy draining. So when you have your noodles and things. Now it's suggested on the packet, I have the paper here, on this paper, it is suggested that you wear um, gloves when handling and draining your noodles and cooking your food. If you're going to have the pot on the stove for quite a long time, they suggest it to have um, a cooking mitt um, to hold on to the pots when cooking for both of them. Okay, so let's move to the little baby one. This lid, they're, all the lids are dishwash safe. This lid also has the holes, so if you want to cook yourself just a little bit of noodles just for yourself, this pot is perfect. Measurements inside the holes. There we have our built-in colander for easy drain. You don't need a colander. You don't have to take it up and then pour it into the thing and drain it. Nope. Keep it all in the pot. Drain it. Okay. And then this pot, and this lid is going to be for the saucepan. So let's figure out what saucepan it goes to. I believe it goes to that big one. Just pull everything back out. These pots are not heavy at all. They have just like the perfect weight on them. Because if they were heavy and then you add food to them, they're gonna be really super heavy and it's like a nice weight. And then when you add your food, it's gonna be easy to handle. Oh my goodness, it fits perfect. So this frying pan also has a lid, has no holes, but these lids lock in the heat and the flavors. So nothing's going to escape from these lids. They're made to be a tight seal, which is I mean like perfect like I'm, this is like I'm feeling like I'm spoiled here you got the best lids we have built-in colanders we have built-in measurements in the pots like what more can we ask for I mean I'm sure there's more but we're gonna start off by being grateful right so I'm super excited about this um, what else I want to set this up nice for you guys to see so if you guys are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're new and welcome to the channel. Okay, so I wanted to go over, I have some notes on the side, I wanted to go over these pots once more before I close out the video. Now these pots, um, I bought these pots from Amazon, there will be a uh, link down below for them and I'm going to do future videos on these pots like showing me cooking with them and talking about my experience with them, whether it's good or bad. Um, but I did want to go over them just to make sure I covered everything. I had my notes. Now these are all oven safe. This pot is the only pot that is not broiler safe. It's oven safe, but it's not broiler safe. They are all oven safe. These are oven and broiler safe. Now if you're going to use the lid, you set the temperature for 350 Fahrenheit. If you're not going to use the lid, then you can set the temperature up to 500 Fahrenheit. Another thing, these are um, etched in measurements in the sauce pots and the lids are designed to lock in the heat and flavor of the food. Now these are all heavy bottoms and they all have triple layers. So there's two layers of durable stainless and one layer of thick heat conducting aluminum and this allows your food to cook evenly from edge to edge it's not like one side of your pot i'll take this lid off oops excuse me. it's not like one side of your pot is cooking hotter than this side of the pot it's going to be an even cook all around and that's really good they're all heavy bottom so that is awesome we went over the sauce lids have built-in strainers for easy straining your food. You don't need to use a colander. What else? In all of the pots and pans here, everything is dishwasher safe. So if you wanted to cook your food and you didn't want to have to hand wash them, you can indeed put them in the dishwasher. Every single one of them, even the lids. So, and the lids can go in the oven as well. We've already mentioned that. Um,
And this is your 10 piece kitchen set. So, so we, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six pots, and then one, two, three, four, four lids, okay? So it's a 10 piece all together, it's a 10 piece kitchen aid, and it's a three ply, okay? Because there's different levels. There's like a five ply, I don't know if they go up higher than that, but this is a three ply, two stainless, two durable stainless, and one thick aluminum for the heavy I to add in really quick that these are also one of the next best if you ever wanted to buy the all clad which are like a thousand dollars yeah a thousand dollars or more actually um you get a 10 piece set with the kitchen aid and these are like the next best um cookware besides the all clad these are stainless steel these are much healthier to eat um as you can see from my other pots in the beginning of the video um all of the wear and tear in the pots and it's it leaked into the food you see some pieces were missing of the pot and i'm sure that went into our food then that's unfortunate but you see these pots do not will not have that problem there's no chemical in there that is harmful to our system that leads i will not be using those pots anymore i'm going to be using safer and healthier pots like this what else and also when you're cooking with the pots, it's best not to use forks or spoons or anything like that. You want to use um, silicone or wood or something that is um, clean and okay. won't scratch the bottom of your pots. Um, and I just wanted to add that in there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this was a valuable video for you and um, gave you a better look and insight on what... Um, on what kitchen aid offers um with their 10 piece i hope that this video was crystal clear and gave just let me know down at the bottom what you wanted to see and what maybe i missed out that you wish you could have seen with these because there's always something we can, i can always do better so just let me know in the comments and i really hope that you like this video and you got something You silly. You having fun? You having fun? Stay right you stay right there. I don't want you in the video, okay? Okay, so thank you so much. And you guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you're not subscribed, please subscribe down below so that you'll be updated for future videos. I'll see you in the next video and I thank you guys and thank you guys so much once again. And I'll see you in the next video. And if you're interested in this kitchen cookware and you want to upgrade your cooking experience, the link is down below for this kitchen cookware. This all came to about $2.99, I believe, or $2.50. I think it was $2.99, um, which is a, not a bad deal compared to the all clad, which is like $1,000, I think, for like a couple of pieces. Or was it just one? I'm, I don't remember. But yeah, this is a much better deal right and it's just as good so that's good for us that's a win for us 10 out of 10 recommend i haven't used them yet so i, sh I can't say 10 out of 10 recommend yet because we haven't used them yet we're going to use them and i'm going to make a couple of videos but i'm going to close out the video now thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below if you are new and if you want to purchase these the links are in the description for this and i did get these from amazon i don't think i mentioned that at all so yeah thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this video added some value and gave you some details on these pots and i'll see you in the next video bye so if you're new subscribe down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up